dogs are amazing. Waggy tails, a healthy appreciation of sticks, and the most incredible noses around. Far more sensitive, in fact, than any man-made sensors. Yet sadly, we can't use our canine friends in every situation requiring a sensor. So scientists invented chemi-resistive thin film sensors, which use tiny organic compounds called conductive polymers to detect vapors by measuring small changes in electrical resistance. They are still nowhere near as sensitive as a doggy nose. Just imagine a crowd of dogs excitingly greeting each other in the park. If just one stops barking, or one polymer stops conducting electricity, you can't really hear the difference over the noise of the other dogs barking. So scientists at Oxford University have been working on a new kind of sensor, almost as sensitive as a dog's nose, if a lot more discreet. They also use polymers and electrical resistance, but rely on a percolation network instead of a thin film. They are formed by a pair of electrodes on a tiny piece of glass. This is coated with a thin layer of gold, heated so it breaks up into individual gold islands. The gaps in between are bridged with conductive polymers. When a vapour molecule interacts with one of the polymer connections, there is a measurable change in the electrical resistance of the entire network. If there are more vapour molecules, the change is larger. This allows the sensor to measure whether a vapour is present, but also how much there is. The percolation sensor, with its network of polymers, exhibits a much larger reaction, with many more possible applications, hmm. making it the next best thing to a dog's nose. Even if it will never be as fun for taking on walks. For more fascinating science, visit our website, subscribe to our channel, and like us on social media.